Okay, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael, and this is my first attempt to do presentation on Drupal Camp LA. So bear with me if it's boring or something. <laughs> so the topic of this session is about almost seamless li Linux on Windows with a virtual machine. Uh, the idea, uh, the reason why I got this idea is because I felt I I I kind of tie up with the Windows machine. And not because I don't like Mac. I have Mac, but there are certain applications that I still need to do uh, to use and it's only run on Windows and if I try to develop draws uh, sorry a Drupal or something on AMS, the regular AMS stack on Windows it is very slow it's painfully slow and probably at the end I'm going to show you the, uh, the difference between using the uh, Apache uh, the web server on Windows and an Apache server within Linux that run on top of Windows it's it's kind of uh, Thank you. It's kind of mind blowing the how how big is the difference, and the second thing is, I I love Drush, but Drush is not fully supported on Windows. If you want to use Drush, you have to rely on the those extra toolkits like the Sequin or MKS toolkits or whatever those those stuff, and it's not guaranteed one hundred percent will run exactly like one on the Linux. Which gonna go to the third step with the uh, third third thing, which is we need to replicate when we when we gonna deploy the, the stuff to the our web hosting. Usually those are using Linux. So why don't we just start dev developing from Linux, even if it's run under Windows? And the fourth thing is fail safe. I can play around, and if I don't like it, I just throw it away, create a new one without, you know, make up my kind of okay so yeah so this is basically kind of I kind of jump off as I still want to use Windows and there's only two uh, there are two alternatives either using the Unix em uh, Unix emulator SQL and MKS toolkits or uh, anything else and there's a uh, the web server spec on Windows which is uh, there are XAMPP which I believe Steve also have it on their desktop uh, on your computer and uh, there's a WAM and the most recent one is the Acquia Dev Developer Desktop. It's pretty pretty light. It's it's straight from Acquia uh, itself. Um, okay, what is the other option? There is a which I it's kind of like the the theme of the session is Linux in the virtual machine, uh, or kind of give up or switch to the Linux or Mac entirely. Oh, just a quick reference. There is a Drupal Quick Start. And this is really the fast one. It's on the Drupal.org project quick uh, slash project slash quick start. Uh, basically, you just download the virtual machine image, put it under it, put it on your computer, and run it. That's it. All the tools, everything is already up and running, including the OS. Uh, it's it worth to to check this website, uh, this this page. The extra benefit of this thing is you can play and learn lin Linux. You can get familiar with what usually the web hosting stuff doing, and last of, last but not least is the great intro to the future of the VPS, the virtual private server, uh, and the grid computing because this is actually the basis of all the grid computing that people keep talking about. Not really like that, but you can play around with the clustering, load balancing, fail fail over, those kind of you know big stuff. So I want to show how the VMware Unity. Uh, uh, okay, before that, um, don't show me again. Okay, okay. So <laughs> there is a. I kind of jump off. There are several virtualization software that are available on the market uh, for free or commercial. One of those are uh, some of those are VirtualBox, which is totally free. Virtual PC, which is semi-free because uh, if you buy Windows 7, I believe it's if it's professional app, which is ultimate, it's kind of including the license within it. So it's free, but if you ha you have to buy the license for the Windows, or the VMware Player, uh, VMware Player is the free one. VMware Workstation, it's the more advanced. It costs like 199, but if it's for a student like me, it's I get like 99 dollar half price. And the third one is, uh, is actually the the very powerful one, the ESXi. It is uh, bare bone, 
which means headless virtual server that you you need a dedicated machine and install it and remotely control everything from there and it's free so that's the best that's the best best part powerful and free and there's maybe some others that I didn't cover um, so the steps this is the step install the virtual software configure the virtual machine hardware which I'm going to show in the, uh, the next slide and then the, uh, in the next step and the set up the virtual networking and then install the Linux install the Apache MySQL PHP stack and install the Drust and then after that Drust the DL Drupal you got the Drupal on your your uh, Linux um, all right so let's for my Ubuntu. Oh, just kind of like a, a, a bit intermezzo. Uh, there are many uh, Linux distro in, uh, there are many Linux distro, but uh, the reason why I choose Ubuntu for this case is because the fast loading. Uh, what I meant is like this. I just run it, power it up, BIOS loading, Wait for a little bit, like less than 10 seconds. Ah, should be better. Come on. Oh. That's probably the reason why I put it on the safe safe mode. So as you can see on the screen, oh sorry, it goes up. Now it's getting faster. Alright, it's the desktop of the Ubuntu, which is supposed to be better, should be faster in, uh, in usually because uh, I plug it on the charger, but it's not now. Uh, there are two types of modes in this kind of virtual machine. The first one is uh, what I call the, uh, what they call Unity, which is basically like this. I click on something on the, the Unity button, and you see on the left bottom one, the, this is actually the shortcut from the, the Linux itself. So let's say I want to call up the console. I just click on it. And here it is. It is my console. I can do Drust, uh, something that didn't involve in download. Um, Drust in the... Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah that's faster yeah so see, it's already shows like that and this real Linux I mean it's Ubuntu uh, this, uh, the reason why I sh show this uh, the unity mode first is because I still want to develop things uh, from Windows but the server everything is from from this Linux uh, from this Linux box so what I did is I just open it up. Don't forget to set your host files as usual that uh, refer to this virtual machine's address, like just like what uh, wherever we want to uh, direct to something. And in this case, it's uh, Ubuntu 04 D7 uh, Dev, and it should be faster. And this is my uh, D7 under Linux. Um, just to show the difference uh, how fast it is from the regular XAMPP. I open up a new browser. Uh, 
this time to the local address with the exact same um, Drupal installations. It's unfair because I already opened one. To uh, the left, the left-hand side one is the is the local one. Uh, oh, sorry, the the on the Windows one, and the right-hand side is the on to the virtual machine one. Since it's already up, let's say if I want to open one node and one node on here and left. The the right-hand side is already done, and the left-hand side still waiting which is a uh, module list page. Thank you. Here, here. Did I click it? Because it's still waiting. Sorry, it's kind of something wrong with this today. Oh, it's my DVM. No, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, this is not like a very scientific way to measure, but it's, it's just the. I don't know why this is. Explore. For some reason. Sorry, Windows really sucks, but no choice. Okay, sorry. Uh, well, looks like it didn't really work out very well. Yes, because I usually when I did the the coding or the draws, even like executing the draws command, draws download something or draws up something, it's very obvious. Uh, when I use the the draws on the Windows, I have to do the sequin, right? Uh, install the sequin and then run the draws and then, okay. Oh yeah, the virtual machine in here cannot get the access to the uh, Drupal.org because, uh, for some reason, the, the wireless of the UCI can didn't allow that. So that's probably the reason. So any. Mm, like a list of content, list of content. Yeah, well, thank you, thank, you, thank you so much. Like the, other, that, that free virtual machine software, you think it's good? the virtual box, X uh, the VM, the VMware uh, player. Uh, the the reason why I use the VMware player or VMware workstation because it's uh, I can put it on my laptop. The ESX I uh, required a dedicated server. It's it's like kind of like a monitor headless machine that you put out at home and you do the remote all the time, but that, yeah, that's usually that what I did at home when I want to do the development fast. So it's almost like you need like a network. Yes, and that's the reason why I want to show this part, which is the a little bit maybe um, kind of like tips and tricks about the setting. It's basically like kind of you, you go to fries and then you decide, I want to buy the CPU, I want to buy the memory. It's exactly like that. I want the memory is 512 megabytes, which is pretty much enough for the laptop, small development. The processors make it two, two cores, uh, one processor with two cores because I have dual core. If you have quad, then it's going to have option up until four. And then you can set up the hard drive, how many hard drives that you want, and then uh, the optical drive, two net. Uh, this is the the tips. Uh, I usually do. I usually have two network adapters. The first one is the bridge because that bridge means uh, the virtual machine will get the will go to your router. Let, let's say you are in the home environment. It's gonna ask a re um, request new IP address from your router directly. Act like it's actually a real machine at your home network. Um, why? Because sometimes I'm too lazy that I just open up a VM, um, virtual machine here and then I go somewhere else and I do remote from somewhere else and then to there. 
because it has its own IP address. Yeah, the second one is kind of like a for, uh, kind of like a fail safe. It's in just in case if I bring my laptop and I am in the wireless mode in a totally not unknown uh, environment like this, I just switch off that bridge because I don't want to get IP address from this UCI network for for this uh, virtual machine. But I still can access from my local uh, Windows browser to this virtual machine server. So it's kind of like I have two tunnels. And the display just leave it auto detect. Pretty much that's it. That's that's nothing very so up to me. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. I just leave it like that because I know that. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like la lazy mode thing. <laughs> Um, there's a kind of list of things that are what I did because uh, we don't have. Oh, by the way, before I forgot, and then let's say if you, we felt uh, you felt like you really want to play with the Linux purely, all we need to do is just Control Alt Enter. That's the shortcut, and you got the full Linux, and then play. Start playing around with the Linux. Like, oh, I want to develop with the Commodo on Linux. You got the Commodore on Linux. Full. Did I click it? <sighs> yeah, I don't really know when. It's not a good time to acting up. Yeah, this is the Nautilus. Uh, oh, probably the same reason. Um, Commodore, I also always do the update check to the, their server and bring up some news, that kind of stuff. But yeah, here is the one of the ID that I use. Mm, make it small back. Next is... Uh, stop, stop. Okay. So like in here, there is a uh, like in the steps we install the Linux distro. I believe there's uh, there are a lot of uh, manuals or guides available on internet. But it's pretty much like exactly like when you gonna uh, when you gonna uh, want to install Linux. This is exactly what the, all the steps is involving in there. And this is uh, when we want to install the Apache MySQL and PHP stack. That's also exactly like what the regular uh, installation for the Linux. But um, just in case, if if uh, anybody interested in, I can show the, I can put, I can post it on the uh, the, the session documents, like. Microsoft Office. Yeah, I'll post it as a yeah as an attachment. I I don't think we can post as attachment, right? I'll, I'll, I'll put it on a slideshow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is basically the steps that I did. It's very. It's just kind of like for my own notes. I oh I can I have to install the Ubuntu blah blah blah. The second thing is I need to check the host name. Check the host address is correct. Make sure the DNS setting is correct. Uh. Number five is uh, kind of like it's kind of um, optional. I I just want to make the the file uh, the the machine as small as possible. Kind of tweak it, and then update. Of course, I I can make a script actually from this, but uh, this is kind of like my checklist. Install the Apache in uh, if you use Ubuntu. It's pretty much you just copy paste this doc uh, this command and done. And then install MySQL Server. Done. Uh, enable the Apache. And um, install the APC. Install the B compiler. How do you install it originally, like Ubuntu on your virtual machine? Do you load it on a drive? No. no. I download the ISO from the uh, Canonical. Mount it. Okay. In. Yes, that's also another good thing about virtual machine. You can mount it, mount the ISOs. Yeah. 
Thank you for asking that, really. I forgot to mention that. And then uh, this is basically more uh, Drupal specific, like APC, B compiler, M B compiler, uh, upload progress to show the indicator, make sure it can upload uh, extension here. This is pretty much uh, on the Drupal doc, uh, documentation. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Any questions?